Hi guys, it is Aoife from Forever Z Dead Laughing and I'm here with the answers to all the questions you guys asked me the other day on my video. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who asked me a question. I wasn't expecting so many people to actually even want to be a part of the giveaway and the Q&A. So a huge thank you to everyone. So I'm going to go, go through all the questions now and then at the end of the video I will pick out the good giveaway winner. So I'll just get on with the questions now. And Lauren from over at Lauren and the Books asked me what made me want to join booktube and what are my favourite videos to make and for this one I was aware of some people like doing booktube and the first person I kind of came across was Charlie over Charlie Reads because I was friends with her on Goodreads and one day I clicked onto a video review that she'd done for a book that I'd also read and it, on the side I saw there was loads of other similar videos and then after her I discovered um, like Lovely Like Laura and Little Book Owl and as I kind of kept reading these or watching these videos I was kind of like oh my god like I really want to do this I feel like this is something that I can be a part of that's something I can do I think I read enough books I have enough opinions on books and it was just some place that I'd realized that I could talk about books to my heart content and not bore every Everyone around me basically like I was doing in real life. One of my favourite videos to make would probably be um, book tags maybe. Um, I just find them really really fun and kind of coming up with the different answers to the questions. I haven't done as many book reviews but um, I've started doing more book reviews this year and I do really like the feedback when you do a book review or you do kind of a discussion video which I did my first discussion video a while ago on YA and there's just something really satisfying when someone comments on those videos because they're, they seem a little bit more personal and you've almost kind of put more work in them sometimes specifically if it's a discussion video I think and there's just something really really satisfying when someone agrees with you or you know someone comments on it and you know it's just something really nice about it and I really really like it. The Lawn Gnome asked me um, when the day comes that I decide to stop making videos what is the one thing you want your watchers to take away from all of your work and for this one I think it's just more of if you feel like you want to do something and you want to be a part of something do it because I would never have thought that I'd be someone who would be able to sit down in front of a camera and just talk and then post myself up on the internet because that's a really scary thing is putting your videos of yourself up on the internet and I still get a little bit like self-conscious about it sometimes if someone like I know goes oh I saw your video the other day or whatever and I'm kind of like oh oh my god okay and but then I normally get complimented on it so it's okay in the end so yeah if you feel like you can't do something just don't listen to yourself and go and do it so Anna over at Anna Shook asked me a couple of questions her first question was does your goldfish have a name and a couple of people did ask me that because he can you can normally see him in the corner of the screen and he does have a name his name is Tom she also asked me what is my favorite drink and I generally normally just drink water but then I'm a sucker for tea like I drink tea all the time and then if I was to choose kind of a soft drink to drink I normally drink like Club Orange or Fanta or something like that, something orangey. I just love that kind of orangey flavour. But the most the most I drink would either be water during the day and then cups of tea as well. Breakfast tea, not herbal tea. And then Anna also asked me what country would you love to travel to in the near future? I would love to go to Australia for a while I think and also Canada those are two places I would love to maybe live in for a while but I would love if I had an opportunity to work in Australia or Canada I think I would take it because I would really just love to experience living there. Katie over Katie Loves to Read also asked me a few questions one of them being what is the weirdest thing I've been asked when a foreigner found out I was Irish? I haven't been asked too many weird things or nothing that like comes to mind but when I was working one time I was talking to a guy um from the from the states and he realized that we were Irish or that I was Irish and that we were an Irish company and then he kind of started talking to me about like a dinner party he had had like this is a work call and he started caught talking about a dinner party he'd had with neighbors and how they had like Irish cream potatoes or something like that and I was kind of like okay that's that's a nice story um I didn't really need to know but thank you tell me what my favorite tv shows are um I love Once Upon a Time I love The Flash um Supergirl Supergirl and The Flash have become my like favorite superhero um shows I really really love them and then one of my favorite shows came back recently and that is Orphan Black that is an absolutely fantastic series if anyone has not read um or not watched Orphan Black I would highly suggest you do so it's just so clever so action-packed it just literally keeps you on the edge of your seat the whole time but it's 
brilliant show. Also a sucker for Heartland, um, which is like a Canadian TV show about horses. I love Heartland sometimes. It's just really heartwarming and like nothing really bad ever happens in it. It's just really nice and obviously there's loads of horses and I love horses so I'm a sucker for Heartland as well. And then Katie also asked me a book I think people should read. And I'm kind of like just one of these people that kind of just my favourite books I kind of try and push on people like The Lies of Lachlan Mora or The Book Thief. Cupcake X Muffins asked me um, what is my favourite series and then what is my favourite cover of that series. And for this, like one of my favourite series is obviously like Harry Potter and I think my favourite cover for that would probably be The Goblet of Fire, maybe. Um, like the original ones. But like I kind of like all the covers of that. Princess Casulis asked me, um, have I met any booktubers? Who would I like to meet? I haven't properly met any booktubers, though I did see Kevin and Kelly at the recent Cassandra Clare QA, but we didn't get a chance to like talk to each other or anything, um, because I was kinda like a few back in line from them, so we weren't really sitting together or anything. Um, so I would love to meet all of the Irish booktubers, like Kelly, Kevin and Katie over at Katie Loves to Read. Um I love to meet all of them and hopefully we'll plan something during the summer or something once exams and school and college and stuff is finished for the people who are in college um, and yeah I would like to meet them and I think an Irish booktuber meetup should be sometime in the future hopefully. Anta over at Samantha Lee asked me um, what is my favourite book that is set in Ireland? This is actually a really hard one because I don't think I've read like loads of books set in Ireland like when I really think about it. Um, but a lot of Cecilia Hearn's books are quite good like in general and they're, most of them are set in Ireland and then there are some really good ones um, called Across the Barricades which is set in Northern Ireland during the Troubles and it's about a um, it is about a Protestant girl marrying a Catholic boy which is obviously really like controversial during the Troubles in Ireland. Artemis Fowl is one of my favourite kind of middle grade books that is set in Ireland that's really good. Those That's a book that I really really want to reread though because I'm kind of vague on the whole story of it. Courtney Reads asked me what would my dream job be. Um, obviously I'm a journalist at the moment and it's something that I studied in college so I'm really lucky to be able to actually have a paying job. Um, uh, as a journalist um, but when I was growing up my dream job was always to be a vet um, and it just happened that when I was in school doing my exams I just had to kind of make some decisions. My job would either be a vet or to be an author because yeah. Aaron Roth asked me what book character I would choose as a parent not including the Harry Potter cast because obviously I would choose Mrs Weasley um, but for this one I think I would choose Hans Huberman from The Book Thief as my dad because he is just so great and he loves books and yeah he's just really really funny and sweet and cute and he would definitely be an amazing father figure I think. Jessie Meow asked me who is the character that I can most relate to and why and this one I think it would either be Cammy in the Lindbergh Legacy series because she's like she wants to be a journalist and she's always trying to go out and find stories and she's always writing and she's a little bit quirky quirky at times and then as well Katie in the Obsidian series who obviously just would love loves reading books all day and would like to do nothing else but read books and um, I relate to her and then there was this book series when I was young that I read about a little girl in Scotland called Sophie and um, she used to love animals and she used to want to own a farm and she used to just always go out in her raincoat and her wellies and there was just all these little stories about her and like specific animals and stuff and how she used to help them and rescue them and stuff so I always definitely related to her when I was younger. Rachel D asked me what my favourite book that people would be surprised by and what do I get up to off of booktube. So for this one like I do read a lot of like YA and fantasy and stuff like that but I do really really love classics as well. I haven't read a classic in a while but I do love them and my favourite classic is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen so I don't know if that would be surprising but um, it's probably one that I don't talk about a lot of the time um, but yeah I really really love Sense and Sensibility and I love Jane Eyre as well. Um, I really really love Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte so that's another favourite of mine. But Abby Leck the book lover asked me um, well, how many books do I currently have on my TBR and on Goodreads on my TBR shelf I have like 470 books I think and I don't even know how many books I have on this bookshelf that I need to read. Sitley Ortis asked me what books I recommend for people who don't read and for this I would say just go for something simple like something that's just an enjoyable story like that could be just like um contemporary like 
like contemporary it's just easy to sit down and just read the whole thing things like Kira Cass's the selection series is something that you can fly through it's just an enjoyable story um things like Cecilia Hearn um Kathy Kelly, Marion Keys, all those ones are just simple, easy to read that you can sit down with. Things like things that are like really popular, like Harry Potter. Again, a book that's easy to read. I think some people that don't read, they think that they have to start reading classics and then that would put them off. I think if people that don't read start reading classics or start reading something that's really high fantasy and quite complex, um, that would just put them off reading because they're like, oh like this is why I don't read. So I just think something simple, a simple story that just calls out to you is perfect. Books with Wings, which is Mel, asked me what is my favourite video I made so far. And I think for this one it would probably be my Twas the Night Before Christmas book tag because this was my first original book tag and I made it obviously just before Christmas and I got a really great response to it. So it was just really great to see my tag kind of floating around so I was really happy with that. And I love the video as well because I have all my lights and all and stuff on the background and I have my Christmas jumper on so yeah I really like that video. Vaseli Iyer asked me if I could rewrite Harry Potter what is the one thing you would change and I'm just gonna say look at my uh, channel name and I think that's what I would change because he should not have died he should have stayed alive and Hedwig. Hedwig wasn't called for. Julia Talks Too Much asked me what my dream job as a child was and again that was always to be a vet even from the time I was really really small I wanted to be a vet. For some time, for some reason, I decided I wanted to be a florist, which makes no sense because I get really bad hay fever, so I can't be around like grass or flowers at all during the summertime. Um, but I think I just like the idea of like arranging the flowers, <laughs> which uh, normally it was always to be a vet. Peace and Cookies asked me what my favourite thing about being on booktube is, and that is definitely just the people and getting to know people and being able to talk books with people who also like the same books as you and I just think the community on booktube is great. So Marianne Dulcimar asked me what my first book I read in my childhood was and um, what was the book that made you fall in love with reading. And I can't remember the very first, first book I read because I was kind of just reading all the time. There used to be these really cute books that was like Puppy Goes to the Beach and Puppy Goes to the Zoo and stuff so I remember reading them when I was really really small and then from then on I kind of went on to kind of Roald Dahl and Enid Blyton like The Magic Faraway Tree and the BFG and The Draft, The Pelly and Me and then I also read all the Animal Arc books by Lucy Daniels and um, so I read all of them and there's like over a hundred books in that series so every time I went to the library I was, get I was getting like three books in the Animal Arc series and um, so those are the books that really kind of got me reading I guess. Naomi Bray asked me if I wanted to write my own novel and yes I do. I have three stories that are like active in my mind at the moment and um, that I kind of have characters and a general plot but I haven't like sat down and really read. I find it's hard because I'm writing all day and I'm writing kind of newsier stories all day. I sometimes find it hard to come back home and write creatively. Um, I used to do it all the time when I was in college and when I was in school. I was just, I'd just come home and I'd just write out fan fiction and my own kind of original short stories and stuff like that. But nowadays, the last few years, I found it really difficult to write creatively. Um, but hopefully that will change if I just sit down and let myself write. Carrie Ann Davy asked me, how do I choose what I'm going to read next or do you read more than one book at once? And I generally don't read more than one book at once, though I have been listening to audiobooks the last couple of weeks just while I'm going to and from the train and stuff like that. So I have been reading those. That's all my Goodreads I'm reading. At the same time, I'm reading my paperback book or my book on my Kindle. Um, and for me, what I'm going to read next, it's generally what I got out of the library, what's kind of like stacked up, kind of what I checked out first, I guess. I kind of go from there where... I like to kind of stack books sometimes and like I'll go from the bottom up or the top down basically. So yeah, I'm kind of weird like that. Kale's Corner asked me what my favourite word is and why. And for this one I'm going to say a pivorous, someone who eats bees. And if anyone knows what that quote is from, you get a bonus point. Elena over Elena Reads Books asked me, would I rather read a book I love over and over forever or read all books only once? That one's really, really tough. Um... I think I might read every book only once but I feel like I've answered that question before and answered it differently but for this this time this moment in time I'm going to say read every book once because I think if I read a favourite book over and over again I could start hating it and I don't want to do that. Mally and Marie asked me what my favourite book I read because of booktube and I think this at the moment would be Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I don't think I would have heard about this book um, without booktube and I absolutely fell in love with it. I just thought it was amazing when I read it. 
Jessica Datoon asked me what do I think of movie adaptions not using the exact scenarios from the original book? Does it bother you or are you more open and welcoming with changes? Most of the time it bothers me, but there are times where I, th I can understand why some stuff doesn't translate as well into film the way it does with books, um, such as the Maze Runner books. I think the way they changed the Maze Runner and the Scorch Trials works really well for the film because I didn't particularly like those books. So I think they've done the films really, really, really well. I'm really happy with how those films and all the changes they've made are turning out. Amy C Books asked what is something that has surprised me about being part of booktube and I think it's literally just that people would want to listen to what I have to say when it comes to books and having so many subscribers just really surprises me um, because I didn't really expect to have any so that was definitely one of my surprises when I became part of the booktube community. Leanne Rose asked me what my reading childhood was like and did I read a lot or did I develop your love for did I develop my love for literature later on? And I've kind of answered that. So yeah, I just read all the time from when I was younger, from the time I was four or five. I always had kind of a, um, an older reading level, I guess, than the age I actually was, just because I read so much. I just loved reading. I always had a book in my bag. Colleen Palladino asked me, do I prefer reading ebooks or physical books? I don't really have a total answer with this because I find sometimes with certain books that I won't find in bookshops over here or in my library over here, I can get them on ebooks much easier. It's easier for the train and for traveling ebooks. And again, I think I read ebooks faster, but I love the feel of a physical book and I love the smell of a physical book. So it's kind of a both. Uh, Rachel over Kalanadi asked me, do I have a favorite holiday and how do I celebrate it? I think my favorite holiday would be just kind of the general answer for this. So it would be Christmas. Um, I just love Christmas. I love decorating the house. My dad collects Santa Clauses, um, like little figurines of Santa Clauses. So every year um, we unpack all of our Santas and have them all over the house. It's just kind of this thing we do. And then every year my mom comes home and like gives out that there's too many Santas and we all disagree. We think there's not enough Santas and it's like a thing that happens every single year, which is just really fun. Um, and I really, really love it. So yeah. And then she also asked, are there any special events or holidays in Ireland that you think are cool? And for this one, like, generally, like, I guess St. Patrick's Day is always kind of fun, even though I never really do anything for Patrick's Day. Um, but I do like St. Patrick's Day. And then also this year was all the celebrations for the 1916 Easter Rising, which is obviously 100 years on. So that was really fun. I felt very patriotic for a lot of that. Um, and yeah. Kizzy Reads asked me what my favourite book or series, um, so for this I'll go for series, I think I'll go for the Legend series, because um, that's one book, one of them I finished, I really, really loved. I also love The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken, but I haven't finished the last book yet, but that is also a series I really, really love, and it's one of them that I kind of find it, I found out because of Booktube as well. Vienna Waits Books asked me what my favourite book cover design. I really love the UK cover of Uprooted. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I do love the covers of the Infernal Devices. These ones, I just, the kind of steampunk ones, I just think they're absolutely amazing. So yeah. Sheila Christiansen asked me my fondest memory from my year on booktube and what would I say to newcomers and for this one I think it's just when I kind of started making more friends and kind of those friends where we would always comment on each other's videos when I kind of realised that that was happening that was really really nice to find out and again um, just tag videos and d discussion videos being really responded to really well I really enjoyed as well and what I would say to newcomers is just go for it go comment on all the videos you can try and find people who are starting out at the same time as you because that's how I found all my kind of closest booktube friends we all started around the same time as each other and we all kind of supported each other and kept on commenting and watching videos so that's one of the big things I would say the Shades of Orange asked me what my non-book related hobbies and interests are. That would be obviously writing in my spare time, even though I don't do it that much anymore. I love going for a swim now and again at the gym. I'm really bad at actually going to the gym, but when I do go and I go swimming, I love it. And I keep telling myself to go and swim more because I just love swimming. But yeah. And then obviously dogs and animals and animal welfare. Um, I just recently um, became involved in kind of pet pets as therapy with one of my dogs which is where he can go to care homes and kind of you know just visit people there and kind of just be there for them to pet and to talk to and stuff for a little while so I'm just recently become involved in that so I'm really hoping to kind of get more involved in it and do more stuff with it so I'm really really excited about that and then Denise Marie asked me if I could talk to a group of publishers what genre or types of books would I want to see more of and I don't really know because I think there's lots of every kind of book really particular answer for this one because I think there is loads of books anyway but 
I do love me some fantasy and some high fantasy and YA fantasy, so yeah, just loads more of them, even though there's already loads more. Fraser Shepherd asked, what is the worst book I have read and what did you learn from reading it? The worst book I've read was probably this like free book I got off Amazon. I think it was called like Blue Magic or something like that, but it was really, really, really bad. It was basically like a really, really, really bad retelling of Twilight, like where everything was basically the same. Instead, they were just kind of like these immortals that like sucked people's souls out of their body or something like that. But it was so bad and I just like, I literally after like 5% I started skim reading it and then by the time I got to like halfway I was like I'm not even reading this. So I learned not to, try not to um, think that books that are going to be free on Amazon are going to be any good basically so yeah but again um, that if I'm not liking a book that it's okay not to finish it as well if it's as bad as that one was I don't have to finish it so I'm pretty happy with knowing that and being okay with that as well. And now it is time to pick out the giveaway winner so I will just pick out someone random and it is Leanne Rose there I have it written down so yes Leanne if you want to leave a comment down below and just make sure that I'm following you on Twitter and then I can DM you and we can sort things out so that is really exciting so thank you to everyone for leaving me questions and watching my videos for the past year I really really appreciate it and here's to another year of booktube so thank you for watching guys bye